some of those living beings acquire some degree of conscious self-awareness, conscious self-reflection. And the very same conundrum that furrowed the brows of scientists in the 1800s comes to the fore here again because you can just articulate the same question but swap out some words. How can mindless, thoughtless particles come together in a configuration that somehow yields the inner sensation of thought, feeling, emotion, how can they possibly generate that if they themselves don't have any intrinsic version of those conscious qualities from the get-go? Now, some people respond much as those in the past did with life. They say those particles can't create consciousness on their own. There has to be something else a consciousness field that we somehow tap into, or the particles themselves made themselves have a little proto-conscious quality. 